Uh, it comes in two parts, so we're just going to look at the first part on this. This is a funny question, and it says you've got to match each data collection to a situation. Okay, so you kind of just have to kind of use your common sense here. If I want to get opinions, then I'm going to look at a questionnaire. So that's a questionnaire. It could be done in person or, or a piece of paper you give out to someone, and they answer different questions. So you could ask them questions whether they like uniform, what kind of uniform they want, how much they're willing to pay, etc. Et so you could ask several questions, so that's obviously linked up there. These two sometimes get confused. Okay, If you're collecting date on heart rate, well that's the kind of thing you might even do in science or, or PE. So this is actually going to be an experiment, because you've got to design that experiment, and you've got to design uh, you know, how often someone is going to do the exercise for, how you're going to measure the heart rate, then you have to record it, and then you might draw a graph on it. So there's lots of information you collect. You need to collect the information about the exercise and their heart rate. Okay, So that's an experiment. And this question here is obviously then got to be data logging. Now, you could check you could have done this one first if you were confused with the experiment one. And um, recording the number of people entering and leaving a shop, you're just literally logging one thing. So you just have, sometimes you have those people that watch the traffic and they just have little clickers or bouncers in out of like some clubs, have clickers so they count the people in and out. That's data logging. So it's just a pure counting, nothing else. It's not quite as detailed as the heart rate and exercise. Sometimes actually shops have automated counters. Sometimes you hear when you um, break a laser beam or when you uh, press on a pressure pad, it actually counts the people in and out. Sometimes you hear a clicking when you're going out of shops and it's counting people coming in and the people coming out of the shops. Uh, and that's called that's data logging. Okay, so it's kind of automatically done or can be automatically done. Whereas the experiment is a bit more, you've got to kind of run the experiment and, and actually log the information yourself and do the timing or, or, or measure the heart rate. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird question. It's all about collecting information, collecting the data not doing any calculations, it's just merely collecting those data in different ways. Okay, if we look at this next one, so this is now focusing on questionnaires, and it's asking us to um, write two questions. In the questionnaire we want to find something about the age and something about the gender of the people. Now you can see there's four marks, so there's two marks available for each. One, you've got to write a question and a suitable response section. So what do we mean by that? Well, the question here is, what is your gender? Simple question, or you could ask, are you male or female? Okay, so that's the question. That would give me one mark in the exam. But I need a response section. So you've got to give the person an option of saying male or female. And in this case, uh, we need to know this information, so and sometimes you can consider it rude, but uh, we need to know it. So we're asking a question about, we want to find out something about the gender and age, so we have to ask the question. And so there's only two options. There's no get out clause. There's no other option. They're either male or female. Okay, so uh, you get one mark for giving the options. Now this one here, we're going to ask the question, what is your age, which is very similar, easy mark. Okay. But now we're going to give the response boxes, and we have to cover all the possible options. And we're not allowed to have overlaps, otherwise the person won't know what to fill out. And we've got to make sure we cover people all the way down to the minimum and all the way up to the maximum. So you can have all sorts of things, but I did a box where I said 0 to 10 years. A box that went, and I can't go from 10 to 20 because then the person won't know what to bot tick. So I go from 11 to 20 years. I had a nice box here that goes from 21 to 30 years and then I can keep going so 30 to 40 years and I'm getting a bit bored now it depends who I'm asking so I might just have it doesn't matter what I ha when I have it as long as I've got enough options uh, I might have a box here that says 41 plus years now that means it catches everyone all the way up to no matter how old they are. So not only have I given options which don't overlap, that's very important, I've made sure I've covered the bottom or zero option, because sometimes they're, yeah, you might have a baby, and it would be difficult to ask a baby, but you've got to cover it anyway. And you've got to cover the top, where you've got to cover anything that could be bigger than what you expect. 
Okay, so we cover all the opportunities. Now that's four marks. Now I think that's quite easy, but we, we might need to just go over these just to check, especially with the data login and the questionnaires. You might just want to go back over it.